Okay, so let's go ahead and work on the actual feed now that we know we can get books from our friends. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just head over to our base template and update the link here so we can click through to our feed. Of course, at the moment, this doesn't exist. And we'll just go ahead and create the controller out and all of that kind of stuff now. And then we'll just write some tests to verify that we can see everything on the page. So let's go ahead and make a controller in here and of course just call this feed controller or more appropriately feed index controller. And let's go over to our web routes and hook this up. So we want a get root in here over to slash feed and that's gonna be the feed index controller and we're done. So let's go over to our feed index controller first of all, add in our invoke magic method and just do nothing in here. We're gonna to start to write a test out for this now. So let's go and make a test. Let's of course call this feed index test or just feed test. And let's pass our pest flag in. So under feed index test, what do we wanna do? Well, pretty much wanna make sure that we are authenticated before we access this. So we can grab any of our other tests like bookstore test and just go ahead and grab what we have here. And let's just copy all of this so we get our refresh database stuff in here as well. And we can just get rid of this before each hook. Okay, so only allows authenticated users. Let's leave it at that. And let's go over to feed and we can get rid of this because by default, remember that is get. Okay, let's go ahead and just run this and we want to expect to be redirected for. Not Oh uh, yeah, we do want expect guest to be redirected for. So let's go ahead and run pest in here, tests and feature and feed index test. And of course at the moment it fails because we get a 200 here because we don't have our middleware in here. Let's add our middleware in. So this middleware, and of course we need the user to be authenticated. Let's run our test and we get green. Okay, so the next thing is just making sure that we see on this page a list of books from our friends. So it shows books of friends. We already know that the relationship works nicely, so we can pretty much follow what we did in our kind of unit test earlier, but we'll just make this a little bit more simple. So let's go ahead and say user factory create, and we'll create a couple of friends in here. So let's create friend one and friend two. Let's make sure we pull that user model in. And then down here, we want to attach a book for friend one. So again, friend one books attach and we'll call this book one because we want to make sure that we can actually see this in the list so let's assign this at the same time as creating it and this is where our statuses actually now do make sense in our unit test it didn't but we're going to say reading here and for our friend two let's create book two and let's say wants to read now, one of these we want to be at the top. So for book one, let's put this at the bottom by adding in the updated at status to sub day like we did before. And then we can pretty much just add these friends and start to hit this endpoint. Now for this, we could go ahead and say add friend and accept friend, or we could go ahead and just say friends of mine and attach. Let's do it the way that we've set this up. So let's say add friend, friend one and friend one is going to accept that user. And then let's do this in the reverse again. So we have a two way. So friend two adds the user and the user accepts friend two. I think that should be just about enough for now. Okay, so now of course, acting as that user, that base user, we wanna go ahead and get that feed page. And what do we wanna see? Well, we want to see these in order, remember, because we have ordered these within our relationship, although we already know that works in our relationship, we wanna make sure that these are being output in order as well. So assert C in order, and then we can just create an array out here and pretty much now just make up what we wanna see on the page. So what we want to see is slightly different to what we've already got when we have our books here. With these, we've got reading, read, and want to read but this is gonna be slightly different for when we look at our feed because it's gonna be in the context of a user. 
So what we want to see is friend one name wants to read. So it's going to be slightly different. It's not going to be want to read. So we can't really transform that in the way that we've already seen and book one title. So that should be at the top because book one, uh, oh no, it should be book two first of all. So let's change this to friend two and just make sure we've got the right one. Yeah, friend two wants to read book two title. And then after that, we should see friend one and let's just check what status reading. So this is now gonna be something like is reading. So we're gonna to need to take this into account in our template, book one title. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it for now. Let's go ahead and just run this test just to make sure. So let's rerun that. And of course we don't see anything because we have nothing on the page. So let's go over to our views. Let's close this off and let's create out a view for this. So under views, let's just pop this in a folder called feed and let's create index.blade.php and let's just say feed in here for now. Okay, back over to our feed index controller. Let's go ahead and return a view in here, feed.index. And we may as well just start to pass this data down while we're here. So from the user, we'll just call this books or you call it books of friends. But from that user, we wanna get books of friends. So that's the relationship that we're passing down. So let's go and just run our test again really quickly. And of course we see feed contains because we've just put feed on the page. Okay, so over to our index page, let's just map this out now to get it working how we wanna see it. So let's go over to maybe the home template and just grab this. In fact, we could just grab, we'll grab it all and tidy it up. So let's put it all in here. We don't need any of this auth stuff here. We don't need this guest directive. We do want our header, which we're just gonna call feed and this is where we're gonna iterate through. So let's just start to iterate through this. So books as book, and then we'll end the for each there. And then let's just put a div in here for now. We are gonna show the book in here in a minute, but let's output the friend name first of all. So why don't we just dump out the book first of all, come over to our feed and have a look. Now I don't think we have any friends at the moment. So let's go ahead and add Mabel in here. Now I don't have Mabel open in another window, so I'm gonna go ahead and manually set this to true. There we go. Now if we come over to our feed, there we go. So these are the books that belong to Mabel and we can go ahead and extract the user from this. I don't think we actually added in the relationship here. No, we didn't. So let's go ahead and create out a user relationship for these books. And this is just gonna be this belongs to many and user class and of course we want to go ahead and say with status or with pivot sorry and status like so okay great now the way that we've set this up at the moment is that we have this book user in here which means technically any of these books could be owned by other users as well we're not doing that necessarily within the application so what we're going to have to do with this relationship is just grab out the book user if we just dump this on the page, you can see we get an array here for each of these because of course this book could be owned by lots of different users. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna say book user and first, and that's gonna return us the first user because in our case, we're not allowing other people to reuse books. But if we did, we would have to change this up because otherwise this would return a user, of course, who you may not be friends with. So we're gonna say name. And now in here, we wanna say is reading, wants to read, something like that. Now we don't have that. If we just head over to our book user pivot, we've got want to read, reading and read, but we don't have wants to read, is reading or any of that stuff in here. So what we could do is just create a really simple action attribute, that the thing that they're currently doing. So we can do that within a pivot as well. So let's say get action attribute, and that's gonna allow us to access this like action so it's a little bit more convenient and let's go ahead and use maybe a match in here within php grab the status from that pivot column and what we can do is say if it's want to read the action is going to be want to read 
and we can just do the same thing for each of these so let's say reading and we can make this however we want so is reading and then read we could say something like has finished reading or has read it's really up to you what you want to do okay so now that we've got this in here we can go ahead and output the action so we can say book pivot and action let's go over and yeah sorry not the pivot we need to specifically say book user which gets returned with that relationship and there we go mabel has read is reading or whatever now in our case that's two of the same so if we come over to our book user table let's find that mabel user and let's say wants to read and we should see that updated we could create a separate test for this getter as well actually and want yeah okay so wants to read is that what we called it maybe we called it want to read yeah there we go wants to read let's just verify that really quickly because we need to make sure it's the same yeah want to read okay so that's fine okay so we know that this is outputting properly now now we just want to output the book title which is pretty straightforward so let's go and output the book title and we should now see that so our test should now pass because we've pretty much satisfied what we want to see in the correct order so let's run our test and yeah it doesn't quite work so let's see what's happening here it's probably because we've in our test if we just come over to our feed index test said wants to read and it should be want to read okay let's try this again and there we go great so we know that we can see a list of the users and we could expand on this test make it a little bit more uh, thorough in terms of what we're outputting if we wanted to but let's just finish up by styling out the UI and we can always add to it a little bit later okay so in here we're gonna have a margin top of eight and we're gonna have a space Y of six to separate out each of these two things just to give it a little bit of breathing space and then within here we're gonna add the book in so let's add a space Y of two and then let's use our book component that we created earlier and we'll pass down the book just into here let's go over give this a refresh and there we go now that space isn't working at the moment so let's wrap this in a div we should have a little bit of extra breathing room great so there we go mabel has read book four mabel wants to read another book now if we just head over i've just logged in as mabel here uh, let's just verify this so mabel has read book four mabel wants to read another book so let's change this wants to read over to reading and edit that and if we come over now that should bump to the top change to is reading and of course it shows us the book information as well just for the sake of clarity we have written tests for this but i'm going to go ahead and create another user in the database that we can use for this so let's create tabby out in here and create another email address spelling that properly and let's go ahead and log in as tabby and add some friends and see what we get in here so let's register sorry oh no we've already registered so let's say tabby at codecourse.com and let's go ahead and add a friend we'll add two mabel at codecourse.com and alex at codecourse.com there we go and let's come over now to alex in fact we'll do this in the database just so we don't have to mess around too much so let's set these both to one now that these have been accepted over in tabby's feed we can see we've got all of the books that we should have in here now what i'm going to do is for alex on book three update this or for reading this one down here update this so if i come back over to my account and let's just pick one of these so let's choose book three let's set this to wants to read okay that's been changed so if we come over here now you can see that this is now at the top so everything is nicely merging in together so that pretty much concludes our feed of all of our users books and their statuses